Hello, are you a bougie pet owner who insists on buying your dog luxury items, even though you could probably give them a sock as a toy and they would not care? If so, this video is for you. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Wild One pet items. We have the collar, the leash with the poop bag, and the pet carrier. Let's get into it. Wild One is a brand that sells really cute, aesthetically pleasing, minimal, millennial dog stuff. All sorts of pet items. It comes in nice colors like blush and tan. These are not your average pet items. If you've heard of Wild One before, you will know that it's pretty expensive and you might be wondering who in the world would buy their dog this really fancy expensive collar or whatever when you could literally go on Amazon or go to Petco and find one for $12 and your dog does not care. This is a good point and the answer is me. I'll buy it. Not that you can see much of my room, but you can tell that I like that clean, minimal aesthetic. And I'm going to transfer that aesthetic to my dog. First, let's start with the collar. I bought Olivia, I think a size small. This collar I think is really nice. It's rubbery kind of feeling, um, easy to clean, and has this loop here for dog tags or your leash to go on. I wish that the holes were just a little bit different size. I feel like on one setting it's just a little too tight and on the other setting it's a little too loose. If you watch my previous video, you'll know that I use one of these noiseless dog tags that I just slide onto the collar. So I don't even actually have to use this for dog tags. You can buy this collar in a kit with the leash. So you can either, I believe, buy a kit with the collar, leash, and poop bag, or the harness, leash, and poop bag. The reason why I bought the collar and not the harness is because Olivia has a harness that comes with her wheelchair, so I will just use that harness for walks. And also the harness, not gonna lie, looked a little bit too big for small dogs. Maybe it's not. So I thought I would just go with the collar and when she needs to go for a walk, I just use the harness that comes with her wheelchair, especially because that one has little clips that connects into the wheelchair. So you kind of can't just use any harness. You gotta use the one that comes with the wheelchair. Now let's talk about the leash. This leash is in a matching color, this blush color. And I believe they recently had an option where you can get different color collar and leash. You could do like tan and blue or pink and black. I bought this before that was a thing. It is this nice leash and it comes with a little poop bag carrier that connects here. It's surprisingly adjustable. There's a loop right here. This is what I use to hold like a handle. And then there's also a loop at the end of the leash as well. So if I wanted to, I could adjust the size of the leash like this to make it even shorter and connect this to her collar. This is also pretty good because if you are like going on a picnic or going to the park, you can kind of wrap this around a tree or something. And so that way your dog can kind of run around a little bit without getting too far away or out of hand. Again, the material is easy to clean and the end of the leash just clips on really nicely to her collar. Comes with this little poop bag carrier that connects to the end of the leash, or honestly, you can just pull it off and put it on anything you want, really. It unscrews like this. And I think there's only one bag left in here, but you, you get the idea. You can get a refill and stuff it in there. I don't know if other people care about this, but I really like how these are pretty low profile. I really hate regular poop bag set just like these neon pink and green poop bags with like paw prints all over them and I know they're cheaper and that's probably the most important thing to be honest but if you don't mind splurging a little bit I like how this just is very low profile I can hang this next to my door and it doesn't like stick out I really like for all of my functional items to match my home decor at some point I'll do like some sort of home tour or something 
um, but I like how this really just matches the rest of my aesthetic. This is coming from a place of privilege if you have the money or even care to invest <laughs> in something like this. It'd be perfectly fine just ordering them off of Amazon. You can also go ahead and order refills. Since I express Olivia over the toilet, I am not really too much in need of these poop bags, to be honest. And if we're going for a walk, most of the time she still has her diaper on because the wheelchair can cause her to pee and poop. And depending on if I have to like carry her to the sidewalk, because my apartment building has stairs, I usually keep the diaper on. At first when I got Olivia, I was not doing that and I would get peed on every single time. So eventually I just decided to keep the diaper on. However, you can use these to put your soiled diaper liner and continence pad inside and toss away. The last item from Wild One that I'm going to talk about is this pet carrier that you guys saw in my previous video. I wanted to go a little bit further because I actually have some grievances with this bag or maybe ways that it could be improved. Wild One, if you're watching this, you can consider this some free feedback <laughs> for your product team. So I talked about in my previous video how Olivia sits inside right here. My biggest grievance and also confusion about this bag is this thing. You'll notice that the rest of the Wild One hardware on the leashes looks like this and the loop on the collar looks like this. So for the life of me, I cannot understand why they would not use the same hardware on the bag. This is extremely difficult to get on there, but even harder to get off. And I'm, I'm pretty coordinated right now because I don't have Olivia in the bag and I'm not like transferring her from my car or whatever, but in the moment, it's really frustrating to be like fumbling with this thing to even get it on there. On camera, you might even be able to see that there are a ton of little scratches all over this thing because of my difficulty with this. Why? I don't understand that. If all your collars are going to have this loop and all of your leashes have this hardware, why would you not make this compatible? I don't get it. My next critique on this bag is going to be the pockets. So obviously the main pocket is for your dog to go in. They have a little pocket for, I don't even know what could go in there, maybe a wallet or something. I really wish that this bag had an outside pocket flap so that I could put my keys, wallet, and phone in here. Because to be completely honest, sometimes this is the only bag I wanna take. Let's say I just wanna take her with me while I go pick up takeout or if I have to run to the pharmacy and I already have her with me. I really don't wanna be having my purse as well if all I need is phone, keys, and wallet. I wish they had an outside pocket for that. Also a slightly more functional inside pocket would be nicer. Some people I had read said that they use this bag um, on the subway in the city or on the train in the city if they live in New York or something like that. And they will put ice packs inside the bag um, to keep the dog cool. I think that's a great idea, especially where I live, it is very hot. And luckily I don't need to worry about public transportation, but I do worry about Olivia getting hot. And this pocket is not really great for an ice pack. I guess it could work, but I think it'd be nice if there was a designated spot for an ice pack or something else to go in there. And then finally, I have actually a question, maybe somebody can answer this, but about washing the bag. I don't think I can throw this in the washing machine, but since I take her in this around with me a lot and the bottom is getting kind of dirty, I'm not sure the best way to clean this, especially considering COVID, everything going on, I would like a pretty safe, effective way to disinfect this bag because if I take her to the vet, I hand her over in the bag and that's just another surface of contact that I would like to clean. I don't know the best way to do that. The bag itself kind of wrinkles a little bit. It might be hard to see on camera, but just from all of the usage, it gets a bit wrinkly. And so that leads me to believe it would not do well in the washing machine whatsoever. So I don't know what the safe way to disinfect this bag is, but.
Overall, it works really well for us. Olivia does not weigh that much. So if you have a dog that's more than maybe 12 or 13 pounds, I would not be so certain about this bag. Maybe test it out, but even it's a little bit heavy on my shoulder, um, though it's much better than carrying her in my arms. Wild One also offers a pet container, container, <laughs> a pet carrier for airplanes. So this is really just for like daily commuting. Um, I would not recommend this for an airplane. I don't have the airplane one because obviously no one's traveling anytime soon, but if your dog might prefer something a little more secure without this head hole, um, then you could try that. I actually use this even for long car rides with Olivia. She is perfectly happy in this thing, so I don't even use a crate. So the price is a bit much, but all things considered, it is pretty good. Uh, considering all the use I get out of it almost on a daily basis. Also, in the purchases I've made from Wild One, they always send a tennis ball, which I find to be really cute. However, it is way too big for Olivia, and it's kind of sad because you see her trying to get the tennis ball in her mouth, and it's like this big, and there's no way she's going to be able to put that in her mouth. So I just gave the tennis ball to someone else who had a dog that was bigger than her. But it's a cute thought, just not really practical for small dogs. So to sum up and kind of speak to the little title part of this video, is it worth it? Well, obviously that depends on your values, your budget, <laughs> how much you care about the aesthetic and the style of the stuff. Like with anything, uh, you could buy like a cheap t-shirt from Walmart or you could buy like a middle grade t-shirt from Gap or you could buy a really expensive t-shirt from, I don't know, Louis Vuitton or something like that. And you just have to see where you really fall on that spectrum. If you are perfectly fine just buying whatever from Walmart, Amazon, Petco, I definitely would not recommend splurging on these items. But if you want to see things that bring you joy, um, if that's kind of how you operate, if you're visually inclined, then I think that's a good option and definitely looks a lot cuter and classier and more aesthetic than a lot of the other dog products that I've seen, so. Olivia, what do you think? She doesn't care. Say goodbye. Say bye. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.